interpretation of the prophetic word is subject to those that are spiritually organized. You see, whenever a prophecy comes, you need to look at it from the eyes of the spirit, not from the eyes of the flesh. <clears throat> Zambia and Zambians around the world, <clears throat> especially those that are staying in Zambia, you are in Lusaka, you are in Chongwe, you are in Livingstone, you are in Solwezi, you need to start preparing for a season, a three-year season. In the realm of the Spirit, as I was praying last night, as you all are aware, that we started our 90 days, our 90 days of prayer, our 90 days, we started our 90 days yesterday, and as I was praying, I saw a swarm of bees, I saw a swarm of bees, and as I saw this swarm of bees, they were eating everything eatable. And as you are aware, bees don't eat everything. Bees only eat something that comes out of a flower. So as I saw these bees eating everything, I began to ask myself, Lord, what is happening in the spirit? Number one, God said to me, that I must come and tell his people in the nation of Zambia that much prayer is needed so that we can cushion this particular suffering that is coming in the next three years, starting 2022. Those of you that were with me at the crossover, remember when I was making the declaration that this year was going to be the year of Ephata, the year of the open. I made mention that despite it being the year of the open, it's going to be the most difficult year that the nation has ever experienced. Ladies and gentlemen, the kind of suffering that is coming to Zambia, no government will be able to cushion it. No institution will be able to fight it because God has allowed it to come. The Bible says that Pharaoh had a dream. And in his dream, there was someone to interpret his dream whose name was Joseph. And he interpreted the dream. He says there are going to be seven years of scarcity and seven years of plenty. Whether you believe in this prophetic word or you don't believe, <clears throat> the commodity prices in Zambia, everything literally is going to rise. Everything, and I mean everything everything governments are gonna try to cushion it but they will not manage and they will not succeed it needs intensifying of prayer and intensifying of wisdom are you a business person are you a business personality it is now time to go to the place of wisdom the place of wisdom fuel price are gonna go high commodity prices are going to go high they are going to go high like they have never gone before. The US dollar is going to go up against the quacha. There is going to be uh, uh, a spirit in the atmosphere that will be causing a lot of confusion to be taking place. But listen to me and listen to me very well. There is also preservation for the remnant. There is going to be preservation for the remnant. There is going to be preservation for the remnant. In order for you to navigate what is going to begin to happen in the nation of Zambia, you need divine wisdom. And you need divine interpretation of the times. And a lot of people are going to be saying, government this, government that, government this, government that. But this is going to happen. It doesn't matter how well the, the 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 institutions that govern the nation try things are just going to be scattering one after the other one after the other one after the other so the nation needs to come to together in one accord and cry to god for mercy it is only god that can remove the situation that is coming in in the next few months to come as I saw these bees, as I saw these bees in the realm of the spirit, I also saw caterpillars. 
And I also saw army worms. And as I saw these army worms, the Lord opened my eyes. As the Lord opened my eyes, the Lord began to speak to me. He said, go and tell my people to begin to store food. Go and tell my people to begin to store food. If you don't have a savings account in this grace period, that you are seeing that things are a little bit easy. I want you to start storing in your savings account. If you have got a savings, uh, uh, begin to store. If you don't have a savings, begin to open a savings account and begin to store for the future because it's going to be hard. Businesses are going to collapse. Businesses are going to be collapse, collapsing. But there is going to be, this is a prophetic word, there's going to be preservation for the remnant. Preservation for the remnant. What this land needs is healing. What the nation of Zambia needs is healing. What the nation of Zambia needs is not uh, technocratical information. What the nation of Zambia needs is healing and prayers of mercy. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. So one thing that you must begin to ask yourself when you begin to see uh, the commodity prices going up, when you begin to see things, they are not making sense. Every effort that is being put in place for things to get better is ending in futility. You need to ask yourself that what sin did Zambia commit? You need to ask yourself that question. As things begin to go from good, better, uh, worse to worse, you need to understand that there is something that happened in the realm of the spirit that, that, that moved Zambia and clockwise. These things I'm telling you, you are going to see them evidently. The US dollar is going to be rising, skyrocketing, rising like never before. It's going to rise and continue to rise and continue to rise and continue to rise. You will see the fuel prices begin to rise and continue to rise and continue to rise. You will see commodity prices rising, continue to rise and continue to rise. So what do you need to do now? And like I'm saying, you need divine wisdom. Those that are in government and those that are given the responsibility to cushion and to begin to navigate and investigate and begin to put on the ideas in order for the nation to begin to move in a certain direction. Those people, they need that divine wisdom. The wisdom of man is not going to take this nation anywhere. It is the wisdom of God that is going to take the nation forward.